um, a lot of my small works, I uh, do them to kind of work out my color schemes and some of my compositions in small pieces first, and then I move on to big pieces. Sometimes I'm happy with just the small piece itself and think that uh, I'm not going to do any better than that with the larger piece, so I just uh, go with that. Um, I've always been attracted to like abstract shapes and everything, and that's why I've done so many paintings with white blankets. And, you know, I kind of feel like you can get the same movement and flow with a headdress, like the way the wind blows on, or it just gives you another abstract shape that you can incorporate in your compositions and everything. And, uh, you know, each tribe has its own specific style as far and it can be as simple as how there's strings that run through the middle of each feather each tribe would tighten that string according to their style and everything so like the blackfoot headdress tends to be tighter so that the feathers stand up more and they call those stand up bonnets like a sioux bonnet would be you know a looser string so they lay down flatter on top of the head and wider out the side. So it just depends on the tribe and sometimes it's just a personal preference too. The Buffalo drum is just like a Northern Plains Indian and I thought it would be neat to maybe have him all by himself up on a ridge beating the drum and, and of course I put the Buffalo head on the drum which is pretty typical of Blackfoot and Northern Plains Indian. So. Buffalo was really, you know, a big part of their life. Um, Navajo World is a painting that I've done this idea before, and someday I'm going to think of a really neat title that incorporates, you know, the sheep and the blankets, because, you know, without the sheep, they couldn't get the wool for the blankets. But that was kind of my thoughts on that. Here's a Navajo man wearing a, a Navajo blanket, and then the sheep in the distance. So it's kind of a, you know, goes full circle, like from the sheet to the blanket. The landscape up around Taos and the Taos Valley, they're some of my favorite to paint. There's just some kind of magic there, and I, I couldn't even put my finger on it, but I lived in Santa Fe for a long time, and the landscape in Santa Fe is beautiful, but it's not as picturesque as Taos. Taos, there's something about Taos. It was just made for painting, you know, and the simplicity of it and, and those big mountains and when they go into shadow, they just almost turn black. You know, it's just a great place to paint. I like to experiment. I probably experiment too much, but that's just what I like to do. And sometimes I think about stuff for months and then I, then I try it after I, when I think I'm ready. But cold light was, uh, I thought, Pretty much all shadows go to the cool side there and spots by the blue of the sky. And so that, I'm going to try a painting where the shadow's very warm and uh, then make all the light very cold. You can't, if you make everything warm, then it just is not pleasing to the eye because there's no complementary colors or anything. And so by making that shadow like a earth red color, and making all the light cold. It's just simply complementary colors, you know, and so I made the shadows warm, and then I have my color wheel, and I looked at my color wheel, and I made all the light, the complementary color to the red shadows. It went towards a cold green. So it's kind of an interesting palette, and I kind of had fun doing it. So I like painting burrows, and one, uh, every so often I'll do two or three of them, and they're just fun to paint. Again, I like the shapes. Um, I find burrows, like their shapes and their little bodies and stuff, more interesting to paint than even a horse. They just they have tons of character and they have great hair and so you can do great stuff with the uh, texture and everything. They're just fun to paint. John Moyers is known for his large figurative paintings, but on occasion he does wonderful small gems. Images of Taos, the natives in that region, as well as life upon the high New Mexico plains, and imagery of Montana and its people. John Moyers was a member of the Cowboy Artists of America and knows his way around a horse. <laughs>